Hello, I'm Tiffany, or Tiff if you want to call me Tiff. Uh, studying my second year in BA Honours Photography. I already do uh, Speedway Photography over at Arlington Stadium. Um, for those who don't know what it is, look it up because it's awesome. <laughs> but um, I met a film director there uh, who was just filming some stuff uh, for a movie that he was doing. And I just happened to like, ask him what he was doing to see if I could help out because I've had an interest in films and stuff anyway. And then he was like, oh, I'll have to hire you. So then it just sort of took off from there and I helped him with the shoots, particularly at Arlington, sort of running around getting different equipment for him and because he was in it, he's in it as well, it was um, like getting shots of him. So he actually gave me the responsibility of getting the shots for the movie, which was huge. And then, you know, when he watched them back, he was really happy with them, which gave me a load of confidence in, you know, filmmaking and stuff. And it opened a door for me really, just like, oh, I could work in this industry as well as photography. It was very strange walking back in the building after so long, um, after being here for college for two years. I left in 2011, come back in 2017, so it was very strange walking back in, um, but it, it's, it's always been a nice building to be in. You know, people ask me, oh, what, what do you learn about taking photos? And I'm like, well, there's so much more to it than that because you have Niger who goes through the history of photography and it's so interesting where it came from, you know, who the most influential photographers are of our time. And, you know, I've learned about so many photographers that have influenced my own work. I, I didn't know what I wanted to do and I couldn't really afford to go into uni. But like I said, I, the main thing was I just didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, if I had gone, it probably would have been to do film. Um, film studies or something or, or continue media but I just wasn't sure so I went into work um, straight away and worked um, the same job for six years. Um, I worked for a manufacturing company just um, behind a desk. I, I was good at my job, I enjoyed it, I, I learned a lot like stuff like time management because it was so busy all the time but I didn't want to sit there for the rest of my life, it wasn't what I had planned for the rest of my life. So I just happened to be speaking to a colleague who was also a friend and she said, oh, you know, because I've been carrying on photography all that time as a hobby outside of it and, you know, doing Speedway and, and you know, just other bits and bobs when I can. And my friend uh, said, oh, you know, have you looked online at what courses there are? So we looked on, just happened to look on UCAS and found this one. Um, and I think this was in the summer last year. So it was probably... August maybe, um, maybe beginning of August or maybe in July or something, but it was very close to when it started. Um, so I basically emailed in and said how do I apply, because obviously you know, I'm older than you know, your average university student, so I hadn't come straight from college. Um, and the process was much easier, it was better doing it that way because um, I didn't have to go through UCAS, it all went on portfolio, so I put portfolio together. Um, had an interview the following Friday, so a week after, and then I had the weekend, and in my interview, um, it was with Lucinda, and she said, yeah, we want to offer you a place. Um, so, I had a weekend to decide, then the following Monday, I handed in my notice, <laughs> and then, yeah, I had, um, had uh, like three or four weeks, um, I think it was four weeks on my notice, on my contract, um, left my job, and then, uh, had a couple of weeks off maybe and then started here um, so it was very quick but it was probably the best decision I ever made.